people you know, unity of the country, the second liberation, Mandela moment. No, I mean, this is all nonsense. I'm sorry. This man is without doubt the most controversial character to ever grace the Kenyan political scene. Am I dismissing the calls of unity? By no means, no, I'm not dismissing the calls of unity. I just want a bit of honesty and decency around those calls. But the most fascinating and puzzling thing of all is that his supporters don't care about his past or his true character. They don't care that he has a well-documented reputation for lying with a straight face. All politicians lie, but William Ruto has taken it to a whole new level. We went and we were told that we were having the handshake and it was about the unity of the country. It never turned out that it was a conspiracy. It, it wasn't genuine. The handshake destroyed Jubilee, the, the ruling party. The handshake destroyed NASA, the uh, opposition coalition. The handshake destroyed our Big Four plan. We couldn't implement it. The handshake destroyed government as we knew it. There was no government, there was no opposition. We ended up in a conundrum that nobody knew who was in the opposition. Who was. So as we called for unity, and there are numerous, indeed too many examples of brutal lies and fake promises. Every young person listening to us this evening, who will graduate next year either from a TTI or from a university, and we are talking about 100,000 of them, from next year they will know that they are guaranteed by the Kenya government that on completion as they leave college, they are entitled to a one-year internship program paid for by the government of Kenya. They will have money in their bank. If you can lie, if you can cheat, if you can betray a fellow leader, what will you do to the people of Kenya? Huh? I'm pleased to announce that uh, five stadia will be complete by April and four and four will be complete by June. Leo tumekuwa katika uwanja wa Kalawa ambapo kulikuwa na michezo ambayo inaendelea ya Senators Cup. Na ninataka na niulize viongozi wa county waangalie viwanja ambazo tunachezea ili ziimarishwe kwa sababu kuna talanta ambazo zinafaa kuimarishwa katika eneo hili. Pia tunataka tuwakumbushe serikali ya Jubilee kwamba walituahidi sisi watu wa makueni kwamba watatujengea stadium mpaka wa leo atujaona stadium if you can lie if you can cheat if, what will you do to the people of Kenya and in case you are looking for the body language or sign that the deputy president is not telling the whole truth here it is but now the deputy president has called the president a liar you see, the Kenyan president has recently revealed for the first time what really caused his fallout with his second-in-command. Ruto's response, stop lying to Kenyans, Mr. President. And then he has used his all-too-familiar tactic of responding to truth. He has changed the subject and pointed fingers at others. Don't tell lies about me, Mr. President, Ruto has responded. But then he has not given us the detailed side of his story. Instead his allies are working overtime to shift attention elsewhere. The president and his mother are the biggest thieves, his allies have told us. If you can lie, if you can cheat, if you can betray a fellow leader, what will you do to the people of Kenya? So, what is the truth? And who is lying here? Is it true what the president says Ruto did? Did the man from Sugoi really try to remove the president from power? Who betrayed who first? Is there any evidence we can look at to prove who is telling the truth? In the most detailed documentary on the subject so far, political analyst and historian Chris Kum Kucha makes some shocking revelations and lays bare evidence to prove what he is saying.
It is all in a video right here on this channel that you dare not miss. Not if you want to totally grasp what is really going on here. Find a link to that 45 minute documentary in the description area below, if you are watching this on YouTube. Chris even comes up with some brand new information that helps to explain a lot of strange things that have happened since 2018.